Hey guys, this is Sarah with Sarah Lee Crochet and Fabric. I'm going to try to make a video on making a slouchy beanie with this Ankara stretch fabric that I purchased from Grace on TikTok um, at Zesty Couture. So this is the pattern I have generated or self-drafted as one would say. And what you need with this particular hat I'm making, you need two of the outside fabric, which is the stretch Ankara, and then also two of the fleece which is also stretch and you want to make sure that the stretch is on the width of the hat trust me i've made mistakes plenty of times cutting it um, not on the width and it just makes a horrible fit so you'll need two pieces what i went ahead and did i just went ahead and double up my fabric because for this particular fabric it didn't matter but if you have a fabric with like directional issue um, then you do want to cut it um, so that the direction face the right way so this is my pattern i have here um, I have it where I can do six inches or if I bend this it'll be five inches But I will go ahead and do the six inch and then I'm also making this um, a lot longer Than this pattern which is what 12 inches, but I'm making it um, about four inches longer So let me just make sure everything is matching up here I want to utilize and have as less waste as possible. So I'm happy with this placement and I am going to just go ahead and flip that If I can there's a lot of fabric here guys, so I will do the best I can. I lose my clips so often, I don't even buy them anymore. Okay, so this is what I have, and I'm just going to cut it at the very base here first. And I probably shouldn't do it all together, but I am. So, yeah. And the only reason I'm doing this is because, um, oh my gosh, you know what? Let me cut it. Okay. And I am giving about a one fourth um, around it. Forgive me, I probably should have done this separately, but too late now. But you'll see, it won't make any difference in the integrity of this hat. I hope you guys can see. Okay. I'm so lazy, guys. I really dislike cutting fabrics. Okay, so this is what we have. Just took a few moments. And I'll show you what it looks like here. This is what it looks like. So we will have a four of these, two top, um, two toppers, and then two bottom. So what we do um, is we'll go ahead and lay the right side facing right side. So this particular fleece does have a right side. So I will be laying these two together, like so. And if there's any, like you see how this one, because I'm such a bad cutter. Just match it up together the best you can, don't worry about it. Okay, so I just have that pin together. Fold that up and put that aside for now. And then go ahead and do this one. There's the right side. And the right side of the fleece facing each other. And then I will clip that again. Sometimes it's a little weird for me because I work with a lot of just cotton. So it's a little weird sometimes to work with these stretch fabrics, but they're definitely a challenge and I love it. Okay, let me just check out my camera, guys. Make sure that you can even see what I'm doing. That would be not good if you couldn't. Okay, so what I'm going to do is use the zigzag stitch, which is number three here, and with a width of one. Okay, and I am going to sew the bottom. Get that in there. And also do a back stitch, please. backstitch at the end there and I'm not even going to uh, cut my thread I am just going to move on to the next piece okay and backstitch on that one as well and just keep on moving I 
back stitch as well at the end. And then I'm going to cut these two apart. This is what we have so far. Okay. I will go ahead and trim um, some of this end here with my pinky shears. It's not necessary with this, but I just like to do that. Make sure you do not cut into your stitch or you will have to sew it all over again. And who wants to do that, right? We've got other projects to start and not finish. <laughs> you guys, I made a really cute um, separate item that I'm not I'm not going to sew it on um, the video. I've already made it. But definitely let me know if you want to see me sew it to go with this hat. I'll show you at the end the matching that I made. Okay, so what we have here is the piece. And we will put it on the wrong side. So, I mean, we'll be looking at it on the wrong side. So we want that side um, folded. So I just folded it up, if you can see. That's what I did. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go back to the straight stitch. And this little piece right here on the fold, there's a, a little piece right here. We are going to sew that closed, okay? So we're going to put that right under the machine here. And we're just going to sew that. And we are going to back stitch. We are just sewing that all the way down. And then what I do, because I'm lazy, I don't want to cut thread and all of that, I just go to the other part that's connected here, and then I'm just going to sew on the liner fabric here, same way. And you can, you know, obviously do it your way, but I'm just lazy. Okay, back stitch there. Okay, and you can certainly um, cut your fabric or detach it, whatever the technical term is, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep going. So I have the second piece here and I'm going to fold it and then sew right across this part. So I just stick it right under until front and back stitch. Don't forget guys. So I'm just still here on the wrong side now to the liner fabric and I'm just going to keep sewing. I make this, these um, types of hat um, yearly for the um, homeless or um, there's a place called Homeless Alliance I live by where even if you have a job and not homeless but maybe you're hungry and just need, you know, a little something between um, paychecks, you can go there. They'll um, allow you, you to have showers, laundry, um, you feed um, people twice a day and then give a pack lunch for dinner, I believe. That's how it was last year. And so I make a lot of these for them. So I just used to do this like an assembly line. the back stitch so now I am cutting and I'm going to cut all the places in the middle here separating all of these from each other okay and let me go ahead and just trim up any straggler threads and um, anything that may make it bulky okay so that is what we did all right, so now what we do, let me move my machine a little bit here. Hopefully, I don't mess up anything. All right, so this is what we have right now. It looks like that. We have two of these. So what you want to do is go ahead and put them um, right side to right side, okay? And just match them up. I usually pay a lot of more attention to like the where the fabric joined because I want that to be perfect. So I usually clip that. And then what I'll do also is clip the um, seams here because I want those to match. And then I will do the same right here and go ahead and clip the seams, okay? All right, let me just check out to make sure everything looks good. So this is what I do. You can go ahead and certainly um, clip all around or paint it, whatever makes you feel more comfortable. Let me put my machine back in view here. All right, so everything looks okay. And so where I am going to start is about two inches from the seam um, from on the liner. So let me put a little mark in there because I'm going to leave, let me see, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna leave a space like on the side of it. Um,